also I looked at uh, Dare to Lead. What was interesting in there was that she definitely looks at to love is to be vulnerable, as she said in her definition. And on page 65 of the Air Force Manual, written in 1948, and it's a military document, which talks about leadership with mercy, kindness, belonging, and love. And she brings forward a practice of integration in this book, which is strong back, soft front, wild heart, and it was given to her by her teacher. She says, all too often, our so-called strength comes from fear, not love. Instead of having a strong back, many of us have a defended front shielding, a weak spine. In other words, we walk around brittle and defensive, trying to conceal our lack of confidence. If we strengthen our backs, metaphorically speaking, and develop a spine that's flexible yet sturdy, then we can risk having a strong spine that's soft and open. Hmm. So how can we give and accept care with strong back, soft front compassion, moving past fear into a place of genuine tenderness? And she says, I believe it comes about when we can be truly transparent, seeing the world clearly, and letting the world see into us. For her, that strong back was grounded confidence and boundaries. The soft front is staying vulnerable and curious. The mark of a wild heart is living out those paradoxes in our lives and not giving into the, into either. It's showing up in our vulnerability and our courage and above all else, being both fierce and kind. 